Hi, I'm Satorius Furness, a recent graduate of Florida State University specializing in information technology. I strive to use technology in a manner that not only educates me, but also creates a product of top quality. I feel that learning is a lifelong endeavor with no time allotted for breaks, and with that said, allow me to share this quick tutorial with you. Here's the tutorial I wanted to share. Basically what we're doing is gonna, we're going to use ActionScript 3 to make this circle and also make it move around the stage. It's a really simple tutorial, but I feel that if you understand this tutorial, you'll be ready to move on to more complex things with the language. So let's get started. I'm going to go to File, New, or Control-N, and we're going to make a new Flash file, ActionScript 3. And let's go to OK. We're going to modify our document. So let's modify document or control J. And we're going to change our dimensions to 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And we're going to change the frame rate to 32 frames per second. And let's open up our actions panel. So let's go to f window actions or just press F9. And this is where we're going to type in our code, but since I already have my code created, I'm just going to go over and grab it and just bring it back over and paste it in. And here's our first chunk of code. Our first line creates a variable called circle, which is an object variable of the sprite class. Our next line adds our circle to the stage. The next line begins to fill our circle with a color called begin fill and we're filling it with the color one two three four five six which is just a hex code I decided to use our next one is gonna draw our circle which is why the function is called draw circle the, cir the draw circle function takes in three variables the first one is the X position the Y position and the radius of the circle and we're gonna finalize our drawing of the circle with our next line of code it's graphics dot infill and our next two lines of code will put our circle in the center of the stage so let's test it I'm gonna go to control test moving or control enter which is what I'll be using from now on and you can see we have a circle here but no matter what we press we can't get the circle to move at all because we've yet to code for that so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of code to it close this out and I'm going to go over to my other window and grab a little more code and bring it back over and paste it in and you can see we've added a little bit of code but it's all pretty simple so let's start with the first new line this is adding an event listener to the stage and the event listener is expecting a keyboard event which is in this case is someone pressing a key down and it's going to relay that event to a function called mover here's our func mover function it's also waiting for a keyboard event to happen and it is of the type void since it's not returning any values at all our function basically is comprised of four if statements each one checking for a specific key. This one is saying if the key pressed down is left. Our next one checks if it's right. Our next argument checks if it's down. And finally, we have one checking if it moves up. And in each of our if statements, we tell it to move the circle if that if statement is met. Here we're moving it to the left. Here we're going to move it to the right. Here we're going to move it down. <laughs> And here we're going to move it up. And let's test that one out. And we have movement. But we do have one problem. If we move too far to the left, it goes completely off the stage. Bring it back. And it will also go off the stage on any of the sides. And that's something we probably want to fix. So let's do that. Luckily, we won't actually have to add any more lines of code. We're just going to edit what we already have. So I'm going to grab a fixed function for our mover function, and I'm going to bring it back over and paste it in. Let's get rid of the old one, put in the new one. And you can see all I've done is edited the conditions in the if statement to where they are a bit longer, but it 
checks for more things. The double AND in the middle of the function checks to make sure that both arguments are met, both the key code being left and this part. And this part is saying that the circle.x must be greater than the half of the circle's width, which is basically the radius of the circle. So it creates a pad of the ra size of the radius on the left side of the screen. And our next if statement is much the same. It's making sure that the button is right and that the circle.x is less than the stage width minus the circle width divided by 2, which is creating a pad which is the size of the radius on the right side of the screen. And our next two statements do it for the top and the bottom, of course. Let's test it. And you can see that we have borders now. It won't go off the stage at all. And that's basically it. We've created a circle that stays within our stage and moves around when we tell it to. Like, like I, said, I said, it was a simple, was a simple tutorial. And we, and have, we have completed it. If you feel the need to contact me about anything or if you just want a hard copy, of, hard this copy tutorial, of this tutorial, feel free to visit my website, which is website, listed for you listed in my video website. information in the box to the right. Thank you for viewing my tutorial today, and I hope you have an awesome day.